WSHID is proud to present Prayer of Palooza. We now go live in the studio with Pastor Rob. Paid her bills and her neighbors got blessed. <laughs> the day of miracles has come. 99% of what comes out of your butt is completely odorless. It's the 1% that causes the trouble. Trouble indeed. From your butt and from your mouth. As they say, Pastor Rob, from your ass to God's ears. We'll be back after this commercial break. On this episode of the commercial break. For a couple of months there, we were giving you our clubhouse information so you could go follow us there. Forget about that. Um, <laughs> what? Once again, <laughs> Once another, again, another <laughs> failed attempt to get the hip with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about that. Don't worry about Just that. Just stick to yeah. Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> I'm still website. on Clubhouse, but not as and much. It, yeah. yeah. So if you're looking for us on Clubhouse, we're uh, probably not there anymore. <laughs> Just going to let you know that. Oh, man. Did we drink a lot of Costa Rican rum? We did. Yeah. I love that stuff. <laughs> Chrissy was at the bar <laughs> and she asked for <laughs> like a rum and coke and the guy put the bottle... <laughs> He poured her rum and coke and he put the bottle on the bar as he went to go. It was busy. He turned to another patron. And Chrissy grabbed the bottle and started drinking from it. I thought it was my bottle. It was, it was. Yeah, sure. It was. We paid for it. I raised you for 18 years. We did it together. We made it through life. The hardest part. We figured it out. And now your shitty little fucking tin can ass. Is up 700 feet off the ground with fucking dental floss! <laughs> ah! Doing laps around an invisible line! What are you thinking? If I was this kid's mother, I'd be like, what are you thinking? Yeah. All I could think about the entire time I'm watching this is if my son comes home and says, Dad, I'm gonna go highlining in the Grand Canyon, I'm gonna be like, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go leg chaining in the bed in the basement. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. Leg it's a brand new sport. <laughs> I'm going to put leg chains on you. You're going to see how many times you can walk back and forth with three feet worth of slack. The next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. Oh, uh, yes, another episode of The Commercial Break. Good morning to you, Sally. How do you do? Fantastic. And Chrissy. Yeah. Best to you. Best to you, Brian. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's another episode of the commercial break, and all to you out there. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And best to you, my fine feathered friends. <laughs> Getting a lot of uh, a lot of positive uh, are we reaction. Saying, are we going to start saying Merry Christmas in July? Kind of as like a pre. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. I think Target goes ahead and puts their stuff out there. No, that's just <laughs> ridiculous. Target does after uh, after Halloween, Halloween, I think, is when it starts. Yeah. yeah. I've, now, if you go to one of these, like, uh, what's the place where all the religious nuts go to? Uh, Mike Michaels? <laughs> Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. That's it. Hobby Lobby. Sorry, Michaels. I love you. But and listen, I shop at Hobby Lobby. I don't really particularly yeah. care what your religious preferences are. It doesn't make a shit's worth the difference to me. I'm just going there to get some Crafts. shitty ornaments half off <laughs> every, you know. But they start putting their Christmas stuff up, like, I mean, just right as summer turns. That's what so I'm if you thinking. go to, like, October 1st, and they have a whole Christmas section. Yeah. But that's when you get all the good deals. It's, oh. like, 50% off okay. all different types of uh, Christmas ornaments. I had no idea ornaments. you were tuned into the Hobby Lobby. Man, am I tuned into the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Ah. It's like I stuck my dick in an electrical socket. <laughs> Woo. I like when I walk into Hobby Lobby and it's got some, you know, we here serve the Lord and Jesus Christ above. We therefore no homosexual touching around the aisle number six or seven or twelve. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Yes. Because that was a big problem. Because nothing's good for business like, you know, xenophobia and homophobia. Yeah. Good for you, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah. And your shitty, shitty beliefs. <laughs> Just sharing that with you. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Who cares? Yes. Cares who you love. Cares what color you are, who you believe in. What does it matter? Yep. 
you're all mad at the, you know Joe Schmo for believing in whatever Muhammad, and meanwhile you're yeah, believing just stay in some in your lane. yeah magic fly guy in the sky that right. sends bolt lightning bolts <laughs> right. down to kill everybody when they do something wrong. It just doesn't make any sense. Just stay in your own lane. Yep. Stay sell hobbies and lobbies. And lobby That's it. it. Sell hobbies and lobbies and leave the rest of us alone. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But you do have good stuff on sale for Christmas. That's so, right. Yeah. It's like Chick-fil-A. I don't yeah, particularly exactly. love their politics, but I do love the Chick-fil-A sauce. They, I mean, so, their nuggets are yeah. so good. I mean, cancel culture can only go so far, <laughs> if you don't mind. If you don't mind me saying so myself. <laughs> Speaking of, I've got an interesting question for you. Okay. When are we all going to stop fucking wearing masks if we're vaccinated? I thought the CDC said this was cool. Yeah. They yeah? Did. I've seen signs up in stores that say it's okay. Yeah, I, I, I have not worry. experienced the same thing. Now yeah. I'm seeing everybody like, here's the thing. <laughs> I go into the passport place the other day to go get uh, to do some passport type business. Yes. And I walk in and there's like maybe 100 people in the room spread out in different various configurations. Right. And we get in there. Very nice lady greets us. And then we go and we take a ticket number. Of course, we're 700 numbers away. Right. You're right. And they're moving <laughs> at a snail's pace. There's only like two people actually working at this place. Yes. And we sit down, and some lady comes out. For, one of the two people who were working comes out with her mask down around her nose, uh-huh. right? And then pulls it off like this and goes, Yo, <laughs> if you walk through those two doors, then you saw the sign that said, Mask required. Go put your mask on. Okay. And I was like, and we didn't have our masks on. And I was I like, know. and I felt for a moment. Like, I wanted to say something. Like, I've been vaccinated. Like, mm-hmm. it's cool. If I believed in the science back then, yeah, I believe in the science now. Right. This is the problem that we have in this country, oh, is yeah. that, guys, what... We got vaccinated. It's 99% effective. I know. I what are we worried just, about I guess now? they just don't know if, if people are being truthful that they were vaccinated. Some people are saying... I can understand I that concern. I can didn't. understand that concern. But if I've been vaccinated, then, you know, I mean, then maybe I should show my card or something. I don't know. But I got vaccinated. I feel like now it's time to take the mask off. Yeah. Now, listen, if they tell me to go put my mask back on again because shit's going sideways, I'll put my mask back on. Yeah, there is But the otherwise, variant. I heard straight from the horse's ass. <laughs> I'm getting upset about it. I'm wow. sorry. And then I see all these people wearing masks outside at the park and stuff, and I'm like, guys, it was you were never in danger of getting COVID out yeah, in the, the park, park. 1,700 feet away from me. <laughs> right. People running by me with masks on, and I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Each to their own. Just jump over to one, one person to the other. They want to wear one. Yeah, listen, I'm not anti-mask. I'm no. saying, I'm telling you, if they tell me to put my mask back on because there is a legitimate concern, I will. But otherwise, what they've said is, if you've gotten vaccinated, don't wear your mask. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And All so right. that's what I'm doing. I said, I, I want to go in and out of the store without wearing a mask. <laughs> oh. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay with everybody? It's okay with me. Jeez. TCBpodcast.com is where you go. You read more show notes. Read more about Christy and I. <laughs> Find all the show notes. And you can watch our entire audio or video library right there. One place. No going anywhere else. Don't you worry about it. We got you covered at TCBpodcast.com. For free. For free. For free. $19.99 plus $19.99 shipping and handling. No obligation to buy after you pay that $19.99 shipping and handling. No shipping. No handling. No handling of the shipping. No shipping of the handling. Feel free to go there. TCBpodcast.com right now. And if you go there now and you jump over to our YouTube page and you make a comment on one of our episodes in the month of June, plus you're a subscriber or you do the same at the commercial break, go to the $500, win $500 post, leave a comment about your favorite episode. Tag a friend and follow us. You're entered into the drawing for $500 in Gold Dot gift card. Woo! Woo! We, don't even, we don't even have to go get the monies from the World Bank. We have, no, we have to <laughs> pack no cash into no suitcase. We don't have to hire the FedEx's men. <laughs> FedEx's men's? That's the problem. There's little idiosyncrasies in like the English language that you learn to pick up on, right? Now, my wife is a, a is an immigrant. I am an immigrant of some form and fashion in some way, so I'm, please don't take this the wrong way. But sometimes when people are writing, mainly the scamsters are writing you, yes. you can pick up on little idiosyncrasies yeah. about their, their language. <laughs> right. Like the FedEx's men <laughs> are flying the planes. Hello, good dear sir. <laughs> right. Greetings of the it, day. Yes, it is a great day of sun and love. <laughs> Here in the great states <laughs> of Indiana Jones. <laughs> we'd, we'd like to inform you of your winnings. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> where are you located? <laughs> the great states of Detroit, <laughs> where they make many happy cars. <laughs> many happy cars? What about the sad ones? <laughs> yes, sirs. And then and then you respond, and they just ignore what you said. Yes. I, you go back and listen to the episode. I like yeah. them fuck with the email scammers, and and I went back it's and good. forth with one, and, and it, it is good. But you can tell by his idiosyncrasies that English is not his predominant language. Right. Uh, or maybe there's a translator involved. That's possible, yeah. too, uh, because there's a lot of S's on the ends of things <laughs> like FedEx is men's. <laughs> the FedEx is men's is on their way to your house. But anyway, we don't have to pack any of any. We don't have to get no cash from no FedEx is men's yeah. because we're going to give you five hundred dollars in your gift card of choice. I, I prefer to do an Amazon. But listen, it's going to be up to you. If you happen to win, you do whatever. Go to at the commercial break on Instagram. Look for the post about the five hundred dollar giveaway. Tell us what your favorite line is from your favorite episode. Tag a friend. That's it. If you follow us, you're included. You can do the same thing on YouTube. There has been a lot of communication back and forth. There has. I'm from excited. From our friends and our fans. And I'm just like through the roof. So we're going to do um, we're gonna do a feedback day pretty soon here. So stay tuned. We're going to do a feedback day. We'll share all of the comments and information that we got. You know, like, like most of the commercial breaks, long and sorted history. We have <laughs> we have a few great comments with a lot of what's he say? is that is he supposed to be like you know is go fuck yourself in that is loving that nice? kind of way yeah. yeah if he puts clappy hands does right. that mean he really is fire fire yeah. fire and sometimes I can't tell like now that we say you know uh, say your favorite line from the episode now I can't tell if they're repeating me or if they're just like because I'm pretty sure I say go fuck yourself at least once an episode yeah. so uh, do that. And before July 7th, uh, before July, I think it's 5th, and then on July 7th, we're going to on air announce who wins. And there's a lot of people already entered into the contest, a lot of people communicating with us. Thank you so much. Yes. Tell us about Keep your going. favorite episodes. Listen, a guy a guy last night at 1 o'clock in the morning, one of our new favorite f- uh, f- fans, I would say, a uh, gentleman named William. I won't give away his last name, but a gentleman named William emailed me like 1 o'clock in the morning with content ideas. Nice. He's like, hey, man, if you like, you know, great episode about the sex doll. If you like sex dolls, check out this and, you know, look at that. And I yeah. was like, wow, thank you, Will. Because the hardest part of my job, if I'm being 100% honest, the hardest part of my job is is making sure that I find something interesting to talk about every single time that we open up the microphone. Right. And the amount of material that I have sitting on a hard drive somewhere that does not get used (laughs) because it sounds interesting going in, but it ends up not being so interesting coming out is unbelievable. So if you have ideas, if you think of something you think would be great for the commercial break to talk about, or you would just like to hear Chrissy and I's opinion on it, or like uh, like to hear us laugh about it, a video that's got good sound that we can use, whatever it is, Info at tcbpodcast.com, or you can always DM us at the commercial break. For a couple of months there, we were giving you our clubhouse information, so you could go follow us there. Forget about that. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Once again, once again, another failed attempt to get hit with the kids. Yeah. Forget about that. Don't worry about Just that. Just stick to yeah. Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> I'm on still website. on Clubhouse, but not as anyway, much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking for us on Clubhouse, we're probably not there anymore. <laughs> Just going to let you know that. Hey, guys, it's our favorite part of the show, the part where we talk about sponsors. And in all seriousness, these wonderful sponsors make the show free and frequent to you. Without these folks, we might have to charge you for the content. And let's all admit it. We already figured out how that went down. So... Do us a favor. If you're in the market for these products or services, please use the URLs and the discount codes that they give you. It gives you a discount, so you get free stuff, and it lets our sponsors know that we're doing a good job. We really appreciate it. Listen, I got to tell you that today's show is sponsored in part by HelloFresh. And I actually couldn't be more excited to talk about this because Astrid and I actually use this service. And we have on and off for many years. When Astrid first came here, when we were engaged and she came over to the United States, we were doing a bunch of different stuff, running here and there, meeting friends, going down to my mom and dad's house. And we decided that maybe it was easier if we had a service that just delivered meals in a box. So we started to use HelloFresh. They deliver recipes and all of the ingredients you need to cook those recipes in less than 30 minutes for dinner. And then they have other options that take less than 20 minutes. It's 28% 
on average cheaper to buy from HelloFresh than it is from your local grocery store. And 72% cheaper than going out to eat. Who's going out to eat right now anyway? We love HelloFresh. It's a service our family personally uses. They sent us a box here, a free box. Even though we use the service, they sent us a free box. We had the pork tacos. They were super delicious. This food is chosen by professional chefs and nutritional experts so you know they're delicious and they are healthy. 25 different options to choose from every single week. And guess what? For commercial break listeners, they are offering 25 free meals delivered. 25 free meals delivered. That means delivery is free if you use the following information. HelloFresh.com slash TCB12. That's HelloFresh.com TCB12. And then you enter the code TCB12. That's TCB12. You will get 25 meals delivered to your door for free. Use that code TCB12 at HelloFresh.com slash TCB12. Use HelloFresh. We do. It's delicious. Thanks, HelloFresh. Hey guys, I got to let you know that today's show is sponsored in part by our friends at Apostrophe Skin Care. What is Apostrophe? Well, they call it Dinner Table Dermatology. Quick story. So when I was a young man, I think I, I mentioned this last week, but when I was a young man, I had really bad cystic acne, which is the huge zits that can really cause a lot of damage to your skin, including pock marks as you get older. They hurt, and not to mention they're just embarrassing. Even though at 15, 16 years old, that kind of skin was kind of the death of me as far as my social life and self-confidence was concerned. What I didn't like was all of the appointments that I had to make for the dermatologist in and out of dermatology offices for almost two and a half years. So as an adult, quite frankly, I skip it a lot of times, even though I've got wrinkles and other issues that I want to take care of. I never go to the dermatologist. I get some over-the-counter stuff and I hope and pray that it works. Apostrophe is putting an end to this. There's no reason to take a long trip to the dermatologist to wait two months to get in the office to be seen for simple issues like rosacea, acne, wrinkles. You can take care of all of it online at Apostrophe. Here's how it works. I went in. I answered a few questions. I chose wrinkles because that's what I'm dealing with at 40-something years old. The wrinkles are starting to form around my eyes and my smile lines. So I basically answered 20 questions. And after 20 questions, which took me about five minutes, I got a text from the doctor. The doctor let me know that he looked at my profile, including a few pictures that I uploaded, and he agreed that I needed some help with my wrinkles around my eyes. So what did he do? He prescribed me something, sent it to the pharmacy, and now I have it. I've been trying it for the last two nights. I'll let you know what happens as I move forward, but I can tell you this right now. It's the easiest dermatological appointment that I've ever made. They use real doctors, and it's scientifically backed prescription medication, oral and topical. Apostrophe.com slash commercial. Apostrophe.com slash commercial is where you want to go if you'd like $15 off your doctor's appointment, which is 20 bucks. So it's a doctor's appointment with a board-certified dermatologist for $5 for commercial break listeners. Don't run to the dermatologist, don't wait three months, and don't use the -the over-the-counter creams that can cause more damage than they do good. Dinner table dermatology is what they call it. That means get your dermatology appointment done at the dinner table on your phone apostrophe.com slash commercial apostrophe.com slash commercial use the code commercial how's your money feeling it's about to feel happier with a certificate from happy money's partner michigan state university federal credit union elevate and increase your savings with 18 month terms and only a 500 hundred dollar minimum and the happiest part MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5 percent apy annual percentage yield Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? 
MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Indiana Jones is coming out with Indiana Jones. Is number seven? Are we on number no seven? Way. Yeah, we're on number seven. Harrison Ford Harrison back in Ford? action. I saw the first, very first wow. picture. If you're watching the YouTube, youtube.com slash the commercial break, I might put a picture of Harrison Ford back in the ultra famous leather jacket and uh, hat, duster hat <laughs> with the whip and the oh. khaki pants. You know, I don't know where he I got those it. from Gap or something. They look great on them. <laughs> uh, but the guy is 90 fucking three years old. It's unbelievable how old that guy is. And he still looks like Indiana fucking Jones. Yeah, he does. Still looks like he's going to kick some ass. And like he's, he's a distinguished professor. He, something that about in his in his spare time goes and finds the Holy Grail. Yeah, I, that's it. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't have that kind of time on right. their hands? Look at me. I'm looking for artifacts in my backyard too. <laughs> Mainly dog poop to pick it up so it doesn't fall in the pool. So uh, I see this picture of Indiana Jones, and I think to myself, if there's one thing in life, as a, as a man who is rounding the corner, who is at the top of the bend, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, if there's one, I'm just like a year away from a middle age cr- uh, crisis, maybe the commercial break is my middle age life, I think my it middle is. life crisis. It's whatever your you're Corvette. Calling. Yeah, it's my Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go so fast, and the engine ain't so great, but it's it's what I got. Okay, exactly. If there's one thing that I could wish for. It would mm-hmm. be to be like a Harrison Ford type that just well, gets yeah. better with age. Yeah. I mean, just like sexier, yes. better looking, more badass. He's more convincing now than he was as Han Solo in Star Wars. Now, I'm not saying at 94. We haven't seen him at 94 act yet. But I'm saying like Indiana Jones number three or four. I was pretty convinced uh, yeah. Harrison Ford was Indiana Jones. Like it, oh, I, yeah, I, didn't even look, sure. I didn't even think about his age. No, I was and like, I think that I would – I'm just throwing it out here. I think I would like to hear tips from – Harrison Ford versus Frankie. I think, oh, yeah. I think Harrison should be given <laughs> the. I think Harrison should be given the tip. I think Frankie is just chemically <laughs> induced. Like you know, uh, Frankie. What's the difference between Harrison Ford and Frankie? A lot. Bullshit. That's the difference between Harrison Ford and Frankie. Yeah. Harrison Ford, if you've ever seen him in an interview, can barely utter a word. And when he says a word, you're listening because it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Frankie can't <laughs> shut his fucking mouth 24 hours a day. Right. But I just think this guy is such a badass. He is. And I, now it's being reported that he's also doing some more of his own stunts. You know, in Indiana Jones and in all of these movies, he has done, he broke his fucking leg. He almost That's died right. on the set of that new Star Wars That's because right. he was doing his own stunts, flying through doors and doing yeah. all this shit. And he almost died. Like he, yeah. he, he got bo- both of his legs broken, I think, but it was a pretty serious injury with, you know, the, they had to cauterize his arteries or some bullshit. I, I know. know. He's a badass. He's a badass. Yeah, he is. So. I, I love that Harrison Ford does all this. Now, the mm-hmm. big difference between me and Harrison Ford is I'm not doing any of my own stunts. Like, I'm pretty <laughs> afraid of getting hurt. That's just my thing. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm a, are you, are you an adrenaline junkie, would I you am. say? Are you? I am. Yeah. So what's the most dangerous it. thing that you've done? Oh, God. Well, we went, you and I actually went uh, zip lining through Costa Rica. We that did go zip really line. high trees the, through the rainforest. We went on the longest z- <laughs> recreational zip line in the world, which was in Costa Rica. Yeah. I think it was like a mile and a half it long or so something. It was so long. I remember my oh, stomach my God. muscles were really hurting by the end from keeping your legs yeah. pulled up. You know? <laughs> your legs pulled up. I, my stomach muscles were hurting from keeping the shit in my pants. <laughs> From falling all over the earth <laughs> underneath me. We're yeah. like 80 stories in the it air. Was it so was high. insane. Yeah. And I am horrified of heights, but I managed but it. I managed to do it. You I managed to it. get through it. I do remember being very scared though. <laughs> and trying to yeah. hold it together. Like I don't want to look uncool in front of Hoadley, so I'm just gonna try to get it together. <laughs> you did a good job. I, was trying to I think piss. I was probably like, let's go zip lighting. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. uh, are we gonna bring rum? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I was just hung over enough to get there right. and be like, okay, maybe this will wake that me up. Costa Rican <laughs> rum. That Costa Rican rum <laughs> and all the other wonderful things that Costa Ricans had to offer. Yes. Oh man, did we drink a lot of Costa Rican rum? We did. Yeah. I <laughs> love that stuff. Chrissy was at the bar <laughs> and she asked for a, like a rum and coke and the guy put the bottle, he poured her a rum and coke and he put the bottle on the bar as he went to go. It was busy. He tend to another patron and Chrissy grabbed the bottle and started drinking from it. I thought it was my 
bottle. To it do was, what I- yeah, sure. It was. We paid for it. <laughs> After that, he was like, you got to pay for that. And I'm like, I'll pay for it. Just put it on my tab. He's like, no, no, the bottle. you got to pay for the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I can oh, serve that was it. A fun trip. And I'm like, it's Costa Rica. You guys have. <laughs> With, literally, there's a monkey shitting out the, the outside of the door. You have stray dogs in here eating food. You're worried about Chrissy Hoadley's. <laughs> what? That was fun, though. I remember I met somebody that I knew from, or that my family knew from Austin. That was uh, that one guy that had lived in Austin. I think he even still communicates on Facebook every once in a while. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> We did do the zip lining. Yeah. I think the most dangerous thing that I've ever done, I mean, like truly dangerous thing I've ever done is skydived, right? right. Sky dove. Do you call it sky dove or skydived? Skydiving. Skydiving. But yeah. I mean, skydiving is the action of skydiving. I do oh, hang fuck. Gliding. No, you're yeah. out of your mind. Have oh you seen that video of that one guy who's like hanging onto the. <laughs> well, hang there's always going to be one little thing. Yeah, there's always going to be one little thing, but if you don't do it, then you don't have to worry about that one little thing. <laughs> You it's, did a pilot. You you flew a plane. Yeah, but I was in control of the plane. I felt I I don't know. I had a very I, I don't know. I don't don't explain. I can't explain why I feel so scared of being in a fucking tall building or on top of a roof or on a high ladder. But then flying a plane is just Yankee Doodle Dandy. I don't right. give a shit. I mean, I'm still scared. So don't Maybe get me it's wrong. You've been on a plane before, and you're kind of used to the feeling. Yeah, and whatever. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, when you're in the back of a 747, it's like a flying house, yes. right? You're in a house, and everyone's comfortable, and you're watching TV, and they're bringing yeah. around drinks and cookies and cocktails. Yeah. Like there's, not, there's, not, I don't know. Something about the environment seems very safe to it me. Does. If you can fall asleep somewhere, it's unlikely you're in much danger. <laughs> right. right? You can't fall asleep when you're flying a plane. Yeah. And especially not a two seater. But so in this in in this in the vein of what we're talking about, I have found a new show on the TLC Discovery Network. Oh, I, f- I feel like I should be a. Pr- I feel like TLC. You should be buying airtime <laughs> yes, exactly. with me because whether I like the show or don't like the show, I sure do give you a lot of free press. Yes, just saying. Yeah, you got me hooked on that. Yeah. sister. all wives. sixteen God. of our listeners are probably tuned highly tuned into this. <laughs> right. Sister uh, Seeking Sister Wives oh is a fantastic God. show. You got me hooked on that. But I, I'm all out of Seeking Sister Wives. I'm all out of my 600 pound life. I'm all out of 90 Day Fiance. I'm all out of my little people and you know my tiny people and my small my people, people and my small family. I just love all those. I just love all those shows and all those people. Uh, there's, I, I just think there's, I don't know, something about the lifestyle reality show, not the lifestyle reality shows, but like the the personal blog type mm-hmm. reality shows really is very interesting to me. And yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I... I like seeing people live their just kind of live their lives right in a non extraordinarily dramatic way, like like say, non housewives. Yeah, non house. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Non glamorous. Nah, housewives and, is yeah. a bunch of horse shit to me. No, no yeah. offense, Andy. Uh, Andy Cohen. <laughs> him and I are good friends. No offense, yeah. Andy. I like what you're doing over there. Uh, it's for somebody else, not for me. Yes. So I'm flipping through the the app. And I see something that interests me because I've seen it before out in my local park. Okay. You know, these guys, they, they tie a line from one tree to the other. Kind of looks like a, like a bungee cord, yes. but it's like the width of a belt, right? And, and you see it a lot at the fish shows or the widespread shows. I, I liken it. It's like a hippie, uh, the flying Waleskas, but the hippie version, meaning they're only a foot off the ground because they're too high and if they fall. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's like you a slack. You just tumble. Th- yeah, they call it a grass. slack line. And what it is, okay. is it's a very... I saw some doing this in my neighborhood putting that up i didn't know what he was doing so now you're it's called a slack line okay is is the refer is the term for it when it's close to the ground okay and that's mostly what what most of these kids are doing mm-hmm. right they're getting high and they're going on the slack line it's like the generate this generation's uh hacky sack okay let's put it that way right okay. but, you, but instead of you know Getting a hangnail, you, do on the you can line? break a line. You just bounce. Oh, you you bounce walk around. across it back and forth. It's a balance thing, and then you bounce, oh, and you okay. can you can put it up a little higher, maybe four or five feet, and you can like flip and bounce okay. back on it. You can <laughs> sit on it and bounce, and then flip up, and then stand, end up standing, wow. and then you can go down and up, and <laughs> it's like a trampoline almost. But you have to land on this one inch little string okay. <laughs> and make it all work <laughs> okay. right. When you're four or five feet off the ground, or even two feet off the ground, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to break an arm. Or a yeah. leg. I mean, I guess you could get some, you know, fall on your head and serious, but there's no real danger. Right. I don't consider it necessary. First of all, God bless you. That kind of balance really impresses me. Yeah. Right? I have a hard time balancing my coffee cup in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time balancing on my wife when we're making love. Good for you. 
But it's, I don't consider it a sport. It doesn't mm-hmm. look to me like to be no. a sport. There's nothing competitive about it, right? It's like a little It's hobby. like you against the line. I don't, I don't know yeah. what the line's usually always winning because it stays there and you might <laughs> fall. I don't know. But they're calling it a sport now. Okay, I'm going to run with that. I'm going to go with you on the sport part of it. Okay. Slackliners, a number of years ago, then decided they were going to take it a step further. Up the if ante. we're going to go one foot or two foot or five foot off the ground. Uh-huh. Why don't we go 700 feet off the ground? Right. Because that sounds like a fucking moronic thing to do. (laughs) The fuck? So what they do is they take this little belt like bungee cord and they string it from one end of a canyon to the other. 800, 900, 1,000 feet in the air. That is a 100-story building for those of you keeping count. It's incredibly high in the air. I mean, yeah. I, to me, after you get above five feet, doesn't matter if you're a thousand feet or it's a hundred feet, two feet, seven feet, doesn't matter. It's all scary. Yeah. Right. You might as well be 5,000 feet up <laughs> in the air because it's all scary. But they, they string it across mm-hmm. um, 75 miles long, however long it is. And then these guys decide that they're going to go walking across the slack line. Oh, wow. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I would not do that. But the only thing that's holding them up is the slack line. Some stoner's uh, version of a <laughs> nail in the ground on the other side yeah. and a piece of twine attached to a harness. So when they fall, they fall like 10 feet down this very bouncy and long line. And then they have to climb themselves back up and stand back up again. Whoa. 800 feet in the air. Whoa. Are they doing this over buildings? Ah, no. Or this is like mountains. No, they're doing it worse. If it was over a building, I could, I could think that maybe somebody would catch me if I <laughs> yes. fell. You know, like those firefighter heroes. Yeah. Those guys you see on the street to catch the babies falling out of the fiery windows. Yes. No. This is like, it's just, it's, you just fall down in the canyon <laughs> or on the rocks or in the woods or whatever oh, it is. Oh, Lord. They do it in all different kind of places. They do it in snow. They do it in rain. They do it in wind. They do it in whatever. It takes balls of steel to do this yeah, kind of shit. Really I'm not does. saying it doesn't take balls of steel to do this kind of shit. Mm-hmm. But a sport, I don't know, may not be a sport. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, do you just win if you don't die? I think that's, <laughs> that's how it works. I think that's the challenge. Yeah. Is if I come home to my mom, then I've essentially You've accomplished something. Won it. Yeah. The things that we're calling sports these days are unbelievable. Tying a string across a canyon. It's an impressive feat. Walking across it is oh. an impressive feat. Yeah. But what is, exa- what's comp- <laughs> what is exactly competitive about that? Do you want to hear about these guys? Yes. You want to hear a little bit about these guys? Yes. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't cut much up out of here because, to be quite frank, just a couple things. Number one, they're all kind of stoner types, right? Mm-hmm. You know, they're like adventure sports I seekers. Do. So they're like, hey, dude, <laughs> when I'm up there on the lines, like I'm meditating, I'm one with the earth. <laughs> Yes. Yes. You got to have rocks in your head to be doing this. I swear to God. Yeah. You know, when some people say that, you know, I can't believe you're up there doing that. I say, I can't believe you're down there doing <laughs> that. Going to work every day, feeding your children, <laughs> trying to make three rent payments on time in a row. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm up here. Forget One about, with nature. One with nature. Forgetting about everything. Mm-hmm. Getting evicted from my third apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Try, trying to naturally clear my chlamydia <laughs> from, from the, la- the high from the altitude last, air yeah, from the last Grateful <laughs> Dead show I went to. <laughs> now they have balls. I give them that. Yes, but I mean, you know, uh, the way that they talk about real life is like, wait, have you ever been in real life? <laughs> have you ever done anything in real life? Okay, just take a listen to this. Is just the beginning of the show. Okay, okay. This is highlining. The coolest sport that you've never heard of. People from all around the world walking across lines thinner than this belt. There's nothing below you but the void. You have left the earth and you're in the sky. My mom would not be sleeping at night if she knew everything I do. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) I know what will happen if I fall off and die and I accept that. I'd rather live every moment like it's my last. I might die today. That's okay. (laughs) Have a good time doing it. I mean, I'm done today. That's, they obviously uh, have no children. That's cool. No, of course these people have children. No. Please. No, you know what? Thank God they don't have any children. That's all I got to say. Because if you had children, you would never be you doing would this. Not, no. Never be doing this. You know what takes balls of steel? Feeding your children on one paycheck. Yes. That's what takes balls of steel. You know what takes balls of steel? Making sure that they stay alive <laughs> right. through a course of the afternoon. 
<laughs> That's what takes balls. You know what takes balls of steel? Waking up and, and changing a diaper on a changing table after you've had 16 seconds of sleep and making sure your baby doesn't fall off. Yeah. That's what takes balls of steel. <laughs> that's a balancing act. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> yes, that's correct. You know, it doesn't take but balls of steel. <laughs> you have a different version of balls of steel than I do. Though I'll give it to you. Your balls of steel are a lot cooler than mine is. <laughs> I hate this guy. If my mom knew what I did when I came home, she would totally be freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Meanwhile, his mom is like, no! <laughs> I raised you for 18 years. We did it together. We made it through life. The hardest part. We figured it out. And now your shitty little fucking tin can ass is up 700 feet off the ground with fucking dental floss. <laughs> 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 Doing laps around an invisible line. What are you thinking? If I was this kid's mother, I'd be like, what are you thinking? Yeah. All I could think about the entire time I'm watching this is if my son comes home and says, Dad, I'm going to go highlining in the Grand Canyon. I'm going to be like, you know what you're going to do? You're going to go leg chaining in the bed in the basement. That's what you're going to do. Leg it's a brand chain. new sport. I'm going to put leg chains on you. Gonna see how many times you can walk back and forth with three feet worth of slack. Break that world record. Yes, I would go ahead and start introducing that sport to him now. Like, just yes. go ahead and get him used to it. One of two things. Either, either he's I'm already kind of doing a version of that. One of two things. Either I'm gonna do the leg slacking, whatever you call it, leg chaining, number one, or I'm gonna start doing the strip clubbing. I'm gonna be like, hey, wait, before you go to Colorado, let's go to this strip club. <laughs> Check out. That's this. right. <laughs> and with Mia, I'm going to be like, hey, Mia, <laughs> guess what? I, I got a brand new American Express, honey. Whole, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before you go to Colorado, I want to make right. sure you have everything you need. <laughs> Why don't you take this to wherever it is you're going to go to? <laughs> and son, you take those dollar bills over to Flash Tats or whatever. Flash Tats. <laughs> flash tats. Flash tits or, you know, <laughs> Johnny's junk in the trunk or wherever, it, whatever it is you're into, son. Yes. Once you go there, you're not going to Colorado to go mm -hmm. slacklining 800 feet in the air <laughs> after I managed to get you through your childhood right. alive and safe. Jeez. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, my God. If this works today, it will be magnificently fun. And if it doesn't, I won't be able to and tell if you it about it. I don't have any life insurance, honey. I'm sorry. The head, the head guy here is like 37 years old, and he's like uh -huh. they call him the granddaddy. <laughs> Well, at that age, if you haven't died, well, you are granddaddy. There's a reason why he's the granddaddy. It's because he's the first one not to die. That he's the first the highlighter age. to reach the age of 73 or 37. <laughs> we call 35 the line of demarcation. We pretty much Grand throw master. you off the high line if you make it that far. We're like, woo. You can't get better than this. This is pinnacle high line. This is pinnacle highlighting, man. You can't get more dead than this. If you fall off this line, there's no way. You are going to... I actually have never seen anybody more dead than I've seen at this particular highlight. That's right. There's a difference between falling 600 feet and 800 feet. The splat pattern is unbelievable. You can, you can actually identify the body at 600, but at 800, it's a whole different animal. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. I'm back here reading the four agreements. <laughs> but I can't make it past the first. <laughs> because another one of my friends passed away. It's a big line, dude. Huge line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huge line. This is the raddest shit from around the planet. The raddest <laughs> shit from around the planet. Uh, I wish I could have, I wish I could even claim, you know. <laughs> The commercial break. The right. raddest <laughs> podcast around the planet. I like saying that. I know. I want to have one of these guys on. I'm just gonna. Yeah. That's that's our new tagline. Actually, yeah. next time you see an ad for the commercial break, it's gonna be the commercial break. The, the raddest, raddest podcast, podcast around the planet. That's right. <laughs> this sport is not just about walking on lines. It's actually about surviving walking on lines. Right. That's the second part to that sentence. I I had a mentor once. He's dead now. He died a long time ago. But you know what he used to say? He used to say, this highlighting is all about walking across lines. But then I figured out he actually missed the other half of it from his mentor, who also died at 22 years old. 
<laughs> which was it's about making it to the, the other, other side, side. Yes, surviving correct. it unbelievable surviving high line it's funny how <laughs> one half a sentence can change your life <laughs> 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 okay, you got right, you're ready to go, Brian. We're gonna jump out of the plane for your first skydiving experience. <laughs> okay, when I say go, you jump. Okay, jump, that's it. Just jump. Go. go. Okay, go. <laughs> oh shit, the other half of the sentence was pull the line. <laughs> what do I do a dirty jump? <laughs> I didn't hear the other half of the sentence. <laughs> right. It's about living life to the fullest. Oh! There ain't nothing better than a women's pantsuit. I feel like we're all the most stoked to just be here with one another. <laughs> but we definitely have our disagreements. Blame it on us, huh? We definitely have our disagreements. <laughs> the other day, Jimmy forgot to tie my, <laughs> right. forgot to tie my boyfriend's what harness the all the way, and he's not here anymore. But There's that's no a, room for arguing there's here. There's no at room this, for arguing. <laughs> this height, this level. Yeah, when, this when you're pinnacle. living a dangerous lifestyle like this, the great news is we're all friends at the end of the day, except for Johnny. He's an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> For jokes, for jokes, we put Manzana cooking oil in his in his slackline harness. If he falls, he's gonna slip right out. We're all just stoked to be here, honestly. The great news is the cops don't come after you. They just go, "Oh, you're an idiot." Don't worry about murder here. Just fall out. Of the, well, don't worry about it. The cops came and they were like, hey, oh. pick him up and uh, bring him home if you don't mind. Pick up what's left of him and bring him home if you don't mind. I shouldn't joke. There's lots of people that die doing this, by the I'm way. sure. Yes. There's lots God. of people that die doing this. You're bitching at me the whole time. I don't know who's shitting your cornflakes this morning, bud, but come back with a better attitude. We need this to just stop. We might battle each other, but always have the back of everybody else on the team. Yeah. Is I that do, the granddaddy? That's the granddaddy. The granddaddy. <laughs> he sounded very, very wise. He's very wise. At the age of We've 31 years got old. Each other's back. Yeah, we always got each other's back. <laughs> except when we they slip yeah, through my hands. Except when you sleep with my wife. <laughs> I forgot the other half of that sentence. We gotta we gotta talk in full sentences here, okay guys? No more talking in half sentences. It's killed a lot of people here. So we're just gonna go in the whole sentences. If you could good. Speak the first half, then the second half. Um, the thing about these guys is, okay, so I went into this and I saw this first f- five minutes. I'll play the, I'll, there's another couple minutes of this, but I'll play the, I'll play the rest of it. Okay. I went into this and I'm like, this is the most obnoxiously vapid, you know, platonic bullshit I've ever heard in my entire life. We all may have our disagreements, but at the end of the day, we got each other's backs because that's how highliners roll, right? And then, you know, uh, you look at me and think I'm crazy, and I look at you and go, what are you doing, dude? And I was like, this is such fucking, you know, yeah. horse shit, right? These guys just, they have no idea of what it takes to be, like, responsible, grown humans, or they wouldn't be doing this to their family and friends, yeah. like, getting up there and doing ridiculously dangerous things for absolutely no fucking reason. Yeah. Not that I have anything against it. I'm just thinking to myself, like, you're on camera saying this stuff, you really realize that there's probably lots of friends and family members who are looking at you like you yeah. fucking moron yeah. i love you please don't go walk yet another rope or jump off the yes. thing is is they don't just do this the the highlining in this series they do rope swinging 900 feet in the air mm. that they rig themselves like there's oh, no God. there's no checks there's no safety yeah. it's just these guys rigging them themselves and granted there is a hierarchy and some kind of like they're taking care of each other So at first I was like, this is going to be the most vapid thing that I've ever watched. I have to watch this for the show so I can just make fun (laughs) of it. But as it goes on, you start to understand that there is some kind of love and respect. Yeah, brotherhood going on here. They are Mm -hmm. looking out for each other. They don't want to die. Most of them don't have a death wish. They just like to do this. Mm -hmm. And that's something I still think is fucking moronic to get up there and walk across a line in 9,000 feet in the air. But that's just my personal opinion. And so I ended up getting involved in the fucking show like (laughs) I always do. I always want to hate it and then I'm like, well, I guess this is good too. (laughs) I guess I'll watch this also. (laughs) Ultimately, like, we all live a dangerous life. He says that like he had a choice in the matter. Like there's no choice in the matter. Right. Ultimately, we're all born into this incredibly dangerous <laughs> life of highlining. 
My mom was rolling me out there at age two. She said, son, if you can make it over there, you can have another bottle. If you can't, uh, I don't know. You're probably going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Just crawl your little ass over there. We were born Gaga goo goo. <laughs> Gaga goo goo, don't forget to make it to the other side. That was the other half of the sentence your dad didn't tell me. He's now dead. <clears throat> your father was a great guy. He's on the bottom of the canyon floor. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Oh Snowing pretty hard right now. I don't care about the snow. Let's go. It's too steep to walk off. Ah! Accidents happen. It is scary to date somebody that highlines. There's always a chance you're not going to see them come back. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have gone out in the snow. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but we got a we got a ten episode pit deal <laughs> with discovery. discovery. <laughs> so sorry about your boyfriend. <laughs> Do you think you can make it through another couple episodes? <laughs> can we just wheel his bones around? <laughs> Bernie style. Yeah, Bernie style. <laughs> weekend at weekend at highlighters. <laughs> In the vein of, uh, so you get the gist of it. These guys, and they, oh, yeah. they, they, they were talking about like holding world records and the U.S. record and the U.S. West record and the U.S. East record. I'm like this fucking shit that people think of. Now I realize all sports started off like this, right? In golf, they were just like a stick hitting a rock yeah, around, was, and yeah. eventually, and now you know people get paid hundreds of millions of dollars to go yeah, out. But they're not in danger of dying. That's true. <laughs> Well, they aren't, but there's lots of sports where you are. Well, I mean, football's football. one of them. Yeah, there's you know, parachute. I don't even know. Is parachuting a sport? <laughs> I, I guess so. that it is. You know, that now they have like competitive, like plane racing and all this other stuff. I, I guess I'm thinking about sports <laughs> as what would be in the Olympics. Uh, yes. Something that actually uh, two people compete at the same time. But yeah. Chrissy, I want you to know that pretty soon <laughs> highlining will be in the Olympics. Uh -huh. I'm going to, I'm almost guaranteeing it. If I can, if I can survive <laughs> long enough to the next Olympics, I will be in it. I, uh, I've th actually thought of a, a couple of sports that I'd like to share with you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a zip line. I'm going to tie it to my legs. <laughs> I'm going to tie one end to the chimney and the other end, and I'm going to jump down the chimney. I <laughs> Call it chimney sweeping <laughs> or or chimney chaining, depending on which way you're going. You can go up or down. You can climb up or you can go down. If you okay. see, the mo person who can do it the most amount of times without getting black lung, he wins. <laughs> he wins. Okay, this one you can do at home? The, you can Your own it. chimney. Pretty much. This is how these sports start, so, Tracy. Yeah. You don't have to do anything. I mean, uh, you can okay, go ahead and jump <laughs> off my, my roof into the pool. Okay. We'll call it pool roofing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Roof pooling. This <laughs> highlining is not a particularly creative name. Why? We just take it as it stands. Okay. Uh, what about lawnmower launching? Have you heard of this one? No. We take one end of the and tie it to the rotary of the lawnmower, oh. and then we take the other one and I tie it to one of my arms. Oh. And then I launch it off the <laughs> off ramp on an interstate. Oh, God. <laughs> 
And then we send, we send it down into traffic in uh, basically however many yeah. lanes you can you can merge into without dying. <laughs> then that's <laughs> Is who, that the pinnacle of well, lawnmowing? <laughs> I pretty much hold the, uh, US the granddaddy East record. Lawn. I am the granddaddy of lawnmower <laughs> launching. 22. <laughs> There's only seven of us that play this sport. <laughs> Four of us are missing a few appendages, <laughs> but it's okay. If you lose an arm, we can start tying it to the leg. That's part of the. That's part of what you were born that's into. That's right. Uh, that's right. I, there's a new sport that's all the rage in, uh, in down in Guatemala. It's called wheel welling, and I don't know if you know about this. It's when you cut the wheel open of a 747, and then you stuff yourself in there, and then you take <laughs> off with the plane. And when you reach cruising altitude of 52,000 feet, you unleash it and then you jump. Jump out. That's right, okay. with, a, with a pillowcase <laughs> for a parachute. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, I, okay. uh, my friend uh, Jason held the, world, <laughs> held the world record south for that one. Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Until the landing gear got stuck. And he was just a flapping in the wind. Unfortunate part is his pants flew off and he landed naked. It was a whole thing. It's part of the trial. The only thing they could identify at the funeral was his penis. Oh. But he had a pretty big penis, so everyone was like, yeah, that's Jason. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if you heard of pole pounding. No. Have you heard of this one? I have not. You have, you know, you've seen pole vaulting. Yes. It's a pretty common sport. Yes. Everyone's that's playing. That's in the Olympics. But that's so 1962. In the year 2022, what we're hoping to do with the Olympics is get pole pounding in there. What happens is, in the, used <laughs> to you. Pounding. You run down and then you use your arm strength to get up the to get over the vault, right? Uh-huh. You vault yourself over that little uh, sticky yes. thing. I don't even know what they call it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't care. We're not here for naming conventions. We're here for adrenaline. Yeah. So what we do <laughs> is we actually put the pole in our mouth uh-huh. and we run down. And <laughs> we pole vault ourselves with our with our mouth. Oh God! It's incredibly painful. Yeah, but you've like never had so much adrenaline true. in your life. <laughs> it's so refreshing. <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. Those are some good ones. Unbelievably, those of us who have no real teeth do really well in that one. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's the people with real Nothing teeth gets in the way. that are in for a wild wake up call. You're going to lose them. Just might as well take them out yourself. That's Spoiler right. alert. That's right. Let's get high on some white claw and let's knock out our teeth. <laughs> Pull pounding, yeah. love that one, mm-hmm. love that one. Additionally, you can do that with Uranus, but that's uh, oh. that's not allowed in sixty-seven of the eighty-six <laughs> countries right. that participate in the Olympics for one reason or another. NBC will not show that live on camera. Yeah, I can't imagine why. Because they're all, they're a fucking bunch of suits, <laughs> right? The don't man. understand Gen Zs. <laughs> they don't understand. We're gonna do some uh, unrequited highlining over the Olympic Stadium. <laughs> it's just gonna. <laughs> Are we going to broadcast live from the Olympics this year? Uh, of course we are. <laughs> we did that one year. 2006. <laughs> we did. That's, or 2008. Was Beijing. it 2008? Beijing, 2006. Beijing. That's right. 2008. I remember thinking to myself, wow, <laughs> this, this China has got their shit together. <laughs> we might have to pull that out from the vault. Oh, my God. That, that was recording. That was awesome. We do we do have some recording live from Beijing. Have you? I want a uh, light bulb lining is one I'm going to do. Oh, it's okay. where you know the electrical lines, the big power oh, ones yes. that come from the substation. Yeah, I actually want to. I'm going to walk across those lines uh-huh. just like I do with, with my high lining, right? Yeah, and then I'm going to hold as many light bulbs as I can, and however many we can keep on for as long as we can keep them on as I'm walking across the line <laughs> is the world record north, south, east, or west. Oh, I wow. just wanted you to know that. Okay, that yes. sounds like a good good one. Well, I'm glad you're into it, Chrissy. <laughs> I'm glad you're into it. Would you like to try any you. of these sports? No, I'll no. Just watch you. <laughs> <laughs> you like to play? You're one of those people. <laughs> That's right, I am. Those people down <laughs> there. <laughs> And by down there, I mean not up on the high line. <laughs> yes. It's not colloquial. I just, I really am pointing down there. You're actually down there. Some of us won't there. make it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We usually shed about six out of ten every four to six months. That's okay. Uh, it's just part of, it's just part of, you know. Part of that lifestyle. Branding a new sport. Yeah. I mean, you know, it happened in golf. It happened in baseball, I'm sure. 
I don't no. know, when did golf start? 1972 or something like that? <laughs> yeah, no. My dad. I think my dad was part of the first. <laughs> Earlier. Than that. Yeah, my dad told a story about a guy who died, a lightning strike on the golf course. Oh. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Anytime a new it sport is. comes. Yes. When you learn your ABCs, people die. It just happens. Mm -hmm. just happens. And I look at other people <laughs> and I go, well, you learned, you died with learning your ABCs. <laughs> right. And I died uh, making a plastic bag wingsuit and <laughs> jumping off the local Jimmy. cell phone tower. <laughs> I'm telling you what, they don't make plastic bags like they used to. <laughs> well, oh, nice. all right, gotta go practice. Gotta go practice bungee jumping. All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> See you later. Go practice jumpy jump, bungee jumping off the back of my car. We, we call it horizontal bungee jumping. I can take off in the car and see if you float yeah, that's up exactly, from back behind yeah, me. That's yeah. exactly what happens. I sit in a chair. <laughs> I sit in a chair. Uh, uh, at the starting point, you go as fast as you right. can. <laughs> and when the bungee jumps, when the bungee snaps, I come flying toward the car. Woo! If you make it over the car, that's when you win. That's right. <laughs> that's it's all points. about yeah. It's all about getting. It's all about the height. Yeah. So you got to position yourself at first. It's about aerodynamics. <laughs> Woo! What if you were driving and the you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Brian. There he goes. He's um, getting ahead of the car. He's, he's practicing again. <laughs> <laughs> he's the Wisconsin state record holder. As if there was the, the record holder. Who, who's, who's keeping these records is what I want to know. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, if it's, it's just a couple of you. Yeah, it's the, the community. community. <laughs> the community. <laughs> Whichever ones are alive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> The I have, tree. By the way, let there's me. There's a tree there's where a you tree, put marks right. in it for how many people have ding, survived. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> at the age of at the old age of forty three, Bob visits the tree of records <laughs> to put in one last notch on the old record tree. <laughs> That's right. I made it across. Us again, the old 800 die line in the desert. <laughs> I'm the only one left. Right. 69 of us started, one of us left. <laughs> Guess I'm time to have some children. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a PBS documentary. Ken Burns presents. <laughs> I love Ken Burns. The Record Tree. <laughs> The record trees where we the keep all the stupid sport records. That's right. <laughs> the story of 69 The highlights. story of jet wheeling. <laughs> Seven men stuffed themselves into a 747 jet <laughs> wheel. Only one survived. Only one survived. The centrifugal force alone. <laughs> they called him Skinny Pete. <laughs> it was his weight that helped. <laughs> right. I don't remember what happened. I passed out like halfway down the runway. But landing was pretty cool. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So stupid. Wow. Discovery. <laughs> Discovery TLC. never fails. Discovery never fails us, Chrissy. If, you ever, if you're ever bored <clears throat> and at home and you're alone and you're like, you know what? What am I going to do today? How am I going to get through the rest of this day? You know what you do? You turn on Discovery. That's what you do. Turn on Discovery, start or flipping TLC. through. Or TLC. Yeah. Or both of them at the same time. Right. Have one <laughs> going right. on my phone, one going on the TV. I like to have season one of the little people going and then the seven little Johnstons over here. Right. <laughs> I just keep Mash moving up. back and forth. Would love to have any of those people on the show. Yes. I would actually fanboy a little bit, I think, about <laughs> seven little Johnstons. I love them. I love them. Oh, I don't know why. I haven't seen it. It's such a real show too. Like they're they're the family's getting in arguments and they're showing it all on TV. It's so real. I love it. Okay. Anyway, tcbpodcast.com is where you go. You can read more about Chrissy and I, find all the show notes, and watch our entire video and audio library right there from one place. Everything. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go anywhere else. You can go right there. But if you insist on going somewhere else, Go to at the commercial break on Instagram or youtube.com slash the commercial break. If you have any ideas for content, you want to reach out to us, you think you've got a video you want us to watch, you want to hear our opinion on something, info at tcbpodcast.com. That's info at tcbpodcast.com. Or 
470-584-8449, 470-584-8449. You can text us or leave us a voice message. Standard text messaging rates do apply. If you would like to win $500 in the first week in July, make a comment about your favorite video in the month of June at the commercial break. You can go to the uh, little post we made about the $500 giveaway and you can put your comment there or you can do it on any of our videos, youtube.com slash the commercial break. You must be a subscriber or a follower. You must tag a friend. You must make a comment. Those are the rules. No nice. doing one. You got to do two. You got to do all three. All yeah. Got to keep reminding people. Yeah. But that's okay. I understand. Yes. I also don't pay attention to <laughs> lots of things in life. So I'm not going to get all upset with you. I want to thank all of the people who've been reaching out and writing us and text messaging us and sending us emails yes, and content thank ideas. Thank you, William. We love yeah. you. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you to my friend who wrote about the sex doll. I, I, I wouldn't give his name out. But we'll talk more about that next week. I want to okay. share with you about what some of the comments about my uh, about our sex doll episode. <laughs> it's gotten a, good, a lot of good feedback. It's gotten a lot of great feedback. <laughs> and some people who, who know about sex dolls. Yes. <laughs> they know about it. They've used them. They've yeah. seen them. They've loved them. Yeah. And uh, while I tried to get them on air, I understand they're a little shy about coming on air. I do want to share some of the feedback we got. We'll do that all next week in a feedback episode. So that's it. What else do I got? Woo! What else? I think that's it. Okay. So until next time, all I got to say to you is... Love you. Best to you. Best to you. I love you. Love you. All right. And best to you. Bye. Bye. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. The Commercial Break. New episodes on Tuesdays and now Fridays. New YouTube clips drop daily at youtube.com slash the commercial break. Visit tcbpodcast.com for access to our entire media library. Follow us at The Commercial Break on Instagram and join The Commercial Break Club on Clubhouse to join in live recordings. Each episode is written and produced by Brian Green, co-hosted by Chrissy Holtley, with additional content provided by Tina Cano. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. 
That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings.